Hi, I'm Sunil Srinidranke. Today's topic is how to create build definition in Azure DevOps for Terraform repository. So the pre-request of this video is the viewer should have a basic knowledge on Git and GitHub. I mean like uh, the user should know what is commit, branch, fork, pull request, etc. And the viewer should have a basic knowledge in Azure DevOps. Then only you can understand what is the build definition and what is the release and etc. So uh, next is the better to watch my previous video on Azure infrastructure automation using Terraform. You can search in YouTube. So you will get this video and this video will explain about how to create a Terraform and how you can automate Azure infrastructure de deployment using a Terraform. So see the same Terraform we are using here to check in in the repo and to do the build definition. So it's better to watch this video so coming back to the slides, what we are going to discuss in this particular uh, video. The first part of this video talks about how to create a repository in, in a GitHub account. So actually I have a GitHub account which is called as Sunish K. So I am creating a repository inside the GitHub account. It's called Terraform Demo. Next we are going to check in the Terraform file which I created in the last video into this particular Terraform Demo repository. Then I am create. I have an another user in GitHub, which I am calling it as an IT infra tutorials. So that user want to do some contribution to this particular Terraform demo repo. So how he will do? He will fork the particular repo into his account, and he will create a feature branch out of it, and he will do the changes in that particular feature branch. Then he will again place a pull request back to the main branch of the Sunish Surendra K GitHub. So this is how the first part talks about. The next part about the Azure DevOps. So how to create a project in Azure DevOps and how to create a build definition with particular task and how to run it during each commit and each pull request to the particular uh, repository. So the last part say about the how to raise a pull request in the GitHub and what happens when we raise a pull request and how, the, how it looks the build definition running behind when you raise a pull request and a commit. So let's go and see in action. So this is the complete architecture how it looks like. I have, as I told, I have an account called Sunish Surendran K in GitHub and I also have an account called IT Infra Tutorials. Creating a repository called Terraform Demo. So that repository will be having a main branch and I will check in this uh, Terraform file into the main branch. So as an another user, IT Infra Tutorials want to do some changes in this Terraform file. So what he will do is he can fork this particular repository to his account and so that will be a forked main branch which is I mentioned as a orange line. Then he, he, he will do a feature branch, he will create a feature branch out of it and then he will raise a pull request back. So we are planning to integrate uh, pull request uh, build definition and then commit build definition. So what it will do is it will do uh, whenever we the user raise a pull request it will run a build definition in behind and it will check all the required things in the terraform is perfect then it will when it whenever it goes to a commit it will again run okay uh, these are the two accounts one is on the name of sunish surendran k and one is in the name of it infra tutorials so i am going to create a repository in sunish surendran k account so Let's create a repository and I'm naming it as Terraform Demo. It's, it will be a public repository. The repository is created. So I want to clone this repository into my local uh, machine. So I'm opening uh, my PowerShell. Git.exe should be installed in my local machine to do all those actions. So I want to clone this repository under uh, this folder. So I want to navigate to into this folder first. Git clone. And I have to paste the path.
yes it got cloned and we got a warning saying that you uh, you appear to have cloned an empty repository yes this currently it is an empty repository uh, after cloning you can see this terraform demo for folder created so what i am doing is i am just going to the my older folder called terraform and i am copying the uh, file which we created in the last video and copying back into the terraform demo folder okay then just navigate to this particular repository git status yes it's now showing that uh, there is a folder added to, to this particular uh, repository so let's do and git add hyphen hyphen all so what it does is it will add all this file git status it changed into green now git commit and I am giving a message called uh, Terra phone file check bin okay git push so what it will do is once I enter the git push yes here now currently it is there is nothing inside this particular repository so once I did a git push it will get pushed from my local repository into my server that is my github server car repository yes our push is successful let's go and check in the server yeah a file came a folder created and the main.tf came so this is the first check in into this particular main branch of terraform demo repository so the first step uh, creating a terraform demo repository and a main branch we checked in the code this part is completed so let's go to the next account and create a fork uh, from this terraform demo repository and create a new branch out of it so this is my uh, IT infra tutorials uh, account so let's go there and check uh, repository is there I am searching for Sunish Surendran K Terraform demo repo yes uh, I got it and let's fork it into my account that is currently IT infra tutorials fork you can see it is forking into IT infra tutorials account github account and the fork was successful let's create a branch out of it I am doing it through the UI I am creating a new feature branch create branch feature branch so as per the slide uh, we completed the second part also that is the uh, forking the main branch into the IT infra tutorials github account and I created a feature branch also so my next part is to create a uh, build definition so let's go and log in to the Azure DevOps portal and create a project first so this is my uh, Azure DevOps portal I'm creating a new project by clicking the button new project and I'm giving the project name as Terraform Terraform demo it's already exist and test so that name is ok so I'm making it as a public and create so this created a new project this is the uh, summary page of the project so currently we done it's a new project and so nothing to show in in the summary page let's go to the pipeline and then press on the build and there is no build currently so let's create a new build click on the button called new build new pipeline click on the use the classic editor and github is our repository 
I want to authorize. So let's click on the authorize using auth. So it got uh, authorized and I am going and selecting my repository. So my repo name is sunishwaitran slash terraform demo. Select and the branch is master. Continue. Let's create an empty job. So I'm clicking on this empty job link. So our build definition, uh, it's created. Let's add the task. I want a copy task first. So I'm going and searching a copy. Let's add the copy file. Add. And I want a publish task also. Publish. Publish build artifactory artifacts. Let's add that also. So I want to copy the source folder that is the uh, git repository. And this is my Terraform is my source folder. Let's select that. Click OK. Uh, one more time. OK. Next target folder. So I, I will go and copy it from the publish. So what it will do is it will copy the file from this Terraform folder into this particular build.artifact staging dot directory and my drop location name will be demo drop so it looks fine let's save the uh, build definition go to builds so we have a build definition called terraform demo test and so now we created the build definition so how to integrate into the uh, repository pull request and the commit click on the edit you can see triggers click on triggers and you have two options this build definition have to run in each commit yes it should be a continuous integration for me so I will enable that next this should run during the pull request validation yes I want to run it during the pull request validation enable it and both should happen during the in the master branch so let's save it Stay. Okay, so we completed creating of build definition and it is linked to the pull request and the commit. So almost all this section is completed. Let's see how it works during the pull request from the IT infra tutorials to the main branch. So I am in the IT infra tutorials account and the branch under the branch feature branch. So let's go and do some changes in my main.tf file. edit it infra tutorials name i am changing into it infra tutorials demo and i am committing this change into the feature branch commit in the feature branch name change and I am committing the change so this is the change I committed in the file let's go and refresh the code yes you can see that it changed into, into IT infra tutorials demo 
so let's this change i wanted to integrate into the uh, main branch of uh, terraform repo which is in the sunish surendran k account let's create a pull request compare click on the compare and pull request so it's showing to which branch to which branch it's saying that creating a pull request from sunish surendran k terraform demo repository and that branch is master and it is from it infra tutorials terraform demo and from the feature branch so i'm creating a pull request yes the pull request is uh, raised and it started running the build definition you can see that some checks have not completed it this means that my ci terraform demo test ci is running and currently it is in a state called in progress so let's go and see in the portal and if you click on the builds you can see one build definition already run and that is in commit in the feature branch name change so this pull request because of the pull request this build definition got run so this particular pull request is raised and the build definition is successfully ran so next see how it ran in the commit so let's go to the uh, sunish surendran account and go and see in the terraform demo repository what is the condition so i am back in the sunish surendran account and the repo terraform let's go to the pull request and i can see there is a pull request came yes here it is showing that all check have passed this branch has no conflict with the base branch and can we merge the pull request yes as an owner of this branch i am feeling that these changes are required and this is a bug fix and this is a good contribution to my particular file let's merge it i'm clicking the merge pull request and i'm okay to confirm it so now if we go and check in the uh, azure devops and if i refresh you can see that there is an another build definition running that is the merge pull request build definition so it also running successfully so that means that we completed our all steps so the summary of this video is uh, we created a terraform demo repository under sunil surendran ke github account and an another user want to do some contribution into the particular terraform demo repository so what he done is he forked the main branch from the terraform demo repository then he created a feature branch he done all his changes in the feature branch and he raised a pull request back to the uh, main terraform uh, demo repository so when you're, whenever it raises a pull request there will be a build definition running and whenever it goes for a commit also there will be a build definition running next video we will be creating a release definition and it will run after this build definition so let's see it in the next video